Hello. Good evening from New York. Today, Tim Wald's pick, Kamala and Angel, troubles the water of politics again. And the healing of a nation begins healing minds. Well, as you know, the father of all lies likes to trouble the waters of uh, human discourse with, with an appeal to greed in all its forms, power mongering, addictions of all kinds. Uh, love of money. Yeah, that's the way the, the way the devil works in this mythology. And if anybody fits that bill as a servant of this father of lies, it would have to be his beloved son. Donald Trump. Yeah. He just can't, he can't stand up to it. He's scared to death. And uh, we have uh, a prosecuting, truly avenging uh, angel a prosecutor after a criminal and he does not want to say anything to her face no of course not he's a coward believing him lies himself perhaps mentally deranged probably but as we know when you see the flaws and the faults in yourself, confess them, you know, one to another that you might be healed. You know, he says he has nothing to confess. Well, what do you expect from a liar? Yeah. Oh, geez, I just want to sing. Wait in the water. Wade in the healing water, wade in the water, children, and angels gonna trouble the water. Yeah, he troubled the world. He troubled the waters. He duped people by appealing to their fears and their anger. Yeah, but uh, as we know, the spirit of God is a spirit of love and a sound mind. No, that's a Christian perspective. But however you see the source of all love, in whatever religious viewpoint, or from whatever culture or religion, it's the same thing. <laughs> yeah, the love that would permit everything a chance to have a chance to exist. But that means a drama unfolds. And who doesn't love a good drama with horror and, and uh, chance and seemingly and uh, comedy. And one thing about Donald Trump, he provided a great deal of comedy. But after the laughter subsides, you realize the poor fellow is a mentally deranged person. And, uh, you know, 
perhaps just unwillingly, uh, troubling the water for eh, wrong purposes, sick purposes, spiritual spiritual sickness is uh, the lack of uh, well, what does this channel teach? Lack of empathy in all its forms. Compassionate, from which we get goodness, and creative, from which we get artfulness, and uh, objective empathy, from which we get truth. And uh, from the kid in us, suffer the little children to come unto me, for such are the kingdom of heaven. Jesus said so many things that just, in, in mythological terms, is absolutely true. And uh, you got to respect that. You know, there are other mystics, and they said a lot of things that were rather moving and, uh, and uh, spot on. Um, the great mythologist Joseph Campbell addressed that. And uh, I suggest you read his books and, and watch the, the videos that he made with, uh, with Myers. Great, great videos. PBS should still have the, the recording. But now, not by night, not by power. You know, the, the Christians who want to have a nationalist Christianity by force, that's not biblical. Not by might, not by power, but by my spirit. What is that spirit? The spirit of love. The healing of minds. I don't hate Trump. Trump's a sick man. But he shouldn't be running the country. And uh, while he's not the devil himself, or the devil's choice, perhaps, he is, uh, and I think this is probably what will disturb him the most, a weak, elderly old man who has misbehaved all of his life without remorse. And uh, no doubt a spanking is due. <laughs> no, I don't believe in spanking. No, my kids came up great. I didn't, I didn't do that. You know, violence is never the answer. And uh, But when you run around stirring up uh, fear and anger, you can expect that somebody on the edge is going to become violent. And that could come from the right, the left, or God, I hope not the middle. But, yeah. So, yeah. Was, was that a warning from God? You know, you keep stirring up all this hate, and now look, you almost died. You know, are you going to repent now? Well, he didn't, did he? Well, anyway, death comes to all of us, and uh, I wonder what kind of near-death experience uh, Trump will have, poor thing. Uh, he needs to be working on that beforehand. Whether you believe that's uh, some kind of proof of the afterlife or not. When I go out, I hope it will be, <laughs> and they do the life review. I hope, uh, hope at least when uh, bad things are mentioned, I can say, I repented from that. <laughs> if I did a little bit better, I kept trying. <laughs> Which uh, it means, uh, hey, there's no gurus. Don't follow, don't follow anybody who says they got it all. You know, why would they have it all? Uh, the source of all love has it all. But uh, 
weed out. And that's the cultish nature of Trump. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to have a demigod for a cult, and he fits the bill. Well, I'm through with my presentation for the evening, and uh, I'd like to give you the blessing, uh, an old Irish blessing that I love. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sunshine warm upon your face, the rain fall soft upon your fields, and until we meet again, may the source of all love hold you in the palm of his hand, or her hand, or its hand. And remember what the great Carl Sagan said. We are the universe knowing itself. And in India, goodbye and hello says what he says. That's namaste. So, whatever you believe, whatever you do, eh, use the spirit of love and vote. Make a better day today. You know you can. Namaste.